Okay, so I have two videos here. On the left is the default Kibbe behavior, and on the right is by setting the soft input mode uh, parameter of the window class. So on the left, you can see that if I have a text field low on the screen and I want to type in it, the keyboard uh, pops up over it, and then you really can't see what you're typing, which is terrible. And on the right, after setting the soft input mode, if you click a text field, the screen will automatically scroll and bring the text field above your keyboard. So let's look at the code for that one. The first thing you need to do is import uh, the window class from kibbe.core.window and then you this is the more important one this is uh, making it so that it actually your text field goes above your keyboard okay so window.softinputmode equals below target and you can also do a couple different uh, parameters here you can do below target or it can be pan I'll put a link below uh, to the actual documentation and it changes a little bit how it works, but it's the same idea. And then also, this one you don't need, but if you want to change how the animation looks when, uh, your, when your text field is kind of zooming above your keyboard, you can work with this window.keyboardanimargs, so keyboard animation args. Uh, it's a dictionary, and D stands for the duration, so how long it takes to, for the text field to go above the keyboard. So you can put it to 0.2 seconds or whatever. So that's in seconds. And then T is the transition uh, type of animation. So you can change it to any of the Kibi transitions like you found or like you can find in the Kibi animation class. I'll put a link to that one below too. So you can change it to anything in the Kibi animation class, any transition there. And in this case, I've shown in out expo, which is an exponential uh, animation. Okay, so that's all the code you need to do. And this is a super help, super helpful feature that uh, I it took me way too long to figure out about. So hopefully this helps you guys, and thank you for watching.